Hello everyone, Peter of England here bringing you an update on the state of play with Weirbank's website. It's Easter Sunday today and I've already done one video but this is a follow on from that first one to let you know that on the uh, weirbank.co.uk website there are a series of uh, buttons or radio buttons there explaining the way forward with projects such as the Bridge Zone, um, also a planetary payment card and what we're emphasizing is now that we have been working over the last few uh, weeks to prepare a ser series of, uh, of leaflets. These leaflets as you see will be made available in various languages and typically what we'll find is there are approximately nine listed here all numbered as we go through and each one will explain a different facet of the products now that are being made available to you at a time when it is necessary to start making meaningful decisions with informed choice and informed consent to take you forward now as the New World Order, the Illuminati, the banking cartels begin to impose their, um, their drive towards a cashless society whereby everything will be electronically um, cleared via a card and if you don't have the card obviously then you will be subject to finding a way of alternative means of paying which may be very very difficult for you so it's a complete system of control and it's something that is on the agenda and whether it's a collapse with the Chinese currency whether it's a collapse with the American dollar whatever instigates it the end result is going to be a drive towards cashless so we're offering an alternative we're saying if they wish to go cashless then by all means we can join them but they can't come along with our unit of currency. So a key motivational factor now for people to come towards Weir Bank in 2016 is going to be a drive towards trading the RE amongst each other and exchanging that amongst each other instead of having to go to the third party high street banking cartel system who think it through are obviously not clearing the LLTs within with it within honor within their own system because they understand fully the moment that they openly cleared one it would be the death toll or the death knell for their entire system and so when people ask why is we a bank not clearing the LLTs or the checks why are we not doing our job we are doing our job we are clearing them but the same message keeps coming back time after time after time by Standard Chartered and Hypervarines Bank and Commerce Bank and uh, Unicredit, JP Morgan, Bank of America, SunTrust, uh, we only clear through SWIFT. Now the problem with only clearing through SWIFT is SWIFT does not actually facilitate transactions. It only issues what's called payment orders. In the United Kingdom, the uh, clearinghouse system is based on commercial interests with commercial banks calling the shots. Yeah? So these are the points you need to bear in mind. These are private corporations preventing another entity or organization from issuing its instruments and allowing them to process and progress through a normal commercial financial structure. Contrary to all aspects of free and fair and open commercial transactions within the European Union. And for people who aren't sure on that, then please look up Article 101 and Article 102 specifically on antitrust violations on something called um, the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union, Article 101 to 109 if you want to go broader. So, thank you very much. Make sure that as soon as that joint form is there within the next few days, you go on and also we will get you one of these brochures uh, in various languages so please specify which language you want pass them amongst yourselves and pass them to all people who are involved in providing business and trading services thank you